Hello, my name is Tanner Sonkakul, a PhD student in electrical engineering at North Carolina State University. I'm excited to present our work on a wearable bioimpedance hydration monitoring system using conformable silver nanowire electrodes on behalf of myself, Shuang Wu, Parvez Ahmed, William Reynolds, Yang Zhu, and Alper Boskert here at Sensors 2021. Proper hydration plays a key role in maintaining homeostasis and various physiological functions, but current methods for assessing hydration are limited to qualitative appearance-based methods, more quantitative methods, which must be performed in a clinic or can only be performed intermittently. A miniaturized wearable system, which can continuously monitor hydration in real time for professionals who must perform intense physical activities under harsh environmental conditions, such as athletes, military personnel, first responders, could increase both safety and performance. Several commercial and academic groups have designed bioimpedance monitors to measure water in the body. These systems typically use bioimpedance spectroscopy or BIS, where the impedance of tissue at a given frequency varies based on the intracellular fluid resistance, extracellular fluid resistance, and cell membrane capacitance. This can be modeled in a single dispersion RC model as seen on the left. We've designed a wearable system consisting of custom wireless wearable bioimpedance electronics which are interfaced to a four electrode conformable silver nanowire sensor. Our custom electronics are built around a Bluetooth system on a chip and a bioimpedance analyzer integrated circuit. The system is powered by 150 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery and has a battery life of around 18 hours. Bioimpedance spectroscopy sweeps at frequencies between 50 and 150 kilohertz can be controlled and read by our custom PC or Android user interfaces. Custom sensor is comprised of silver nanowire electrodes, which are annealed onto a polyamide layer, then laser cut and spin coated with PDMS to create a conformable sensor. In the scope of this work, we performed basic validation of our wearable system. We started by directly measuring three different single dispersion RC models to find the accuracy of our, of our system. We then measured bioimpedance spectroscopy change over time on excised chicken tissue while measuring sample weight to track moisture loss. On the left, you see the test setup and weight loss data over time for one sample. On the right, you can see the change in magnitude, impedance, and resistance versus reactance over time. We observe single ohm magnitude root mean square error in both resistance and reactance when measuring on three different single dispersion RC models. On the tissue model, we derived extracellular resistance, intracellular resistance, and membrane capacitance from the measured impedance at each time point using a parametric solver. We observed increased extracellular and intracellular resistance and decreased membrane capacitance as weight was lost over time. To summarize, we presented a wireless wearable bioimpedance spectroscopy system for continuous monitoring of tissue hydration, which we validated in silico and in vitro. Obviously, passive electronic components in chicken tissue are very different from a living human. So we are already in the process of validating the system in vivo against gold standard hydration sensing techniques. We're also optimizing electrode size and spacing. Future work beyond this will include incorporation of signal processing and machine learning to eliminate various potential confounding factors. We'd like to acknowledge the NSF and the SBIR program for their support. Thank you for your attention.